killed Edric, England. Wild Edric was a famous champion. One day, he lost his way in the forest and wandered alone. He saw a large house and reached there. There he saw some beautiful ladies dancing. He fell in love with one of the most beautiful of them. He snatched the maiden from her place and escaped with his captive. The maiden said to Edric, You will be lucky as long as I am with you. But if you reproach me on account of my sisters, you will lose both your bride and your good fortune and will pine away quickly to an early death. He promised never to do so and solemnly wedded in the presence of all the nobles from far and wide, invited to their bridal feast. One evening, Edric returned from hunting and could not find his wife. He called her for some time and she finally arrived. Edric said angrily, Did your sisters detain you for such a long time? The moment her sisters were mentioned, his wife vanished. Edric's grief was overwhelming. He cried out and pined away and soon died of sorrow. The Beggar and the Miser Arabia Once there was an utterly poor and old beggar. One day he passed through an old village. He knocked at the door of a big beautiful house with a tall barn and a large iron padlock on the gate. In this house lived a man who was famous in the village for his miserliness and never helped people, even though he was very rich. Please give me some meat or milk, said the beggar. The miser replied roughly, No, I cannot. Go away. Maybe you can give me some wheat or beans, kept asking the beggar, forced by hunger to humiliate himself. I do not have anything to give you, said the miser. Then give me a loaf of bread and I will be highly grateful, said the beggar. Go away. I do not have any bread at home, was the miser's reply. At least give me some water. I am very thirsty. I do not have water, screamed the miser. Then said the beggar, Oh my son, why are you sitting here then? Stand up and start begging food from the good people. You are even poorer than I am. The Rabbit and the Moon Canada Long ago, there was a rabbit. He was a great hunter and set traps to catch animals. But he suddenly started finding his traps empty. He realized that it was a thief's mischief. He made a trap from a stout bowstring and set it beside his snare. He carried the end of the bowstring and hid himself. The moon suddenly disappeared and it grew very dark. Soon he saw a white light coming towards the trap. He pulled the bowstring, closed the trap and tied the string to a tree. He took some black mud and threw it at the white light. He heard a voice saying, I am the moon and you have spotted my face with mud. Come and untie me. The rabbit untied the prisoner and took a promise that he would never steal his prey. The moon hurried on his way. Since that night, the moon still bears the marks of the black mud on his face. Sometimes he goes away to wash off the mud, but he never succeeds in cleaning himself and when he comes back to his work, the black marks are still upon his shining face. The Boy and the Violin Brazil Once there was a poor boy. He owned nothing but a violin. One day the boy went to a forest and began playing his violin. The flock of sheep that were grazing at some distance heard the music and started dancing to the tune. They followed the sound and reached the boy. He continued to play the melodious music. Soon other beasts of the forest began dancing to the tune and joined the gay procession. The jolly procession wandered on and finally reached the king of the land of the giants. The king was amused and laughed hard at the sight. The king had a daughter who remained sad all the time. All the giants had done their very funniest tricks but could not make her smile. So the king took the little boy to her sad daughter. When she saw the sight, a happy smile played about her lips. The king was happy to see her daughter and gave half of his kingdom 
to the boy. The boy, from that time on, reigned over half of the kingdom. He played on his violin to his people. All the beasts stayed in his kingdom forever. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.